Yo, what's going on guys? Um, it's Jay, we're going here, back with another video, and today, um, we're going to be taking a look at the tropics right now, we're going to be talking, taking a look at a tropical storm, uh, Claudette right here, um, as you can see, um, it just, um, it just kind of, it just, you know, it just made landfall in Louisiana, in Louisiana, and you can just see in the satellite imagery, uh, you can see a bunch of clouds around right now, um, a few other clouds is push, passing out in my area, so that's, you know, my area is right now, it's kind of rainy today, so, that, um, it's from, it's from the, the outer bands of Cla Claudette. Okay, hold on, the Wi-Fi is going slow today. Okay, sorry about that, okay. And right now it's at 40 miles an hour right now, um, uh, there are tropical storm warnings issued right here, um, going here at the, uh, here. So you, as you can see, there are tropical storm warnings issued at the, at the Pensacola Bay, uh, Al and to Alabama. And, and as, and now there's tropical storm watches issued at the North Carolina Bay right there. Um, as you can see, there is this track right here, um, um, so it looks like it's gonna be going um north, gonna be going northeast right now, and it looks like yeah, it's just gonna it's, it looks like it's gonna re weaken into a depression, and it's gonna look like it's gonna re strengthen back again once it gets back into the um gets back into the ocean again, and for my place um if you can see my place it's gonna be right the outside of the cone it's just right outside my place it's right outside my place it's really close. It's gonna be really close, but it the damage is well, well, damage is obviously not gonna be bad. It's just gonna be you know a lot of a lot of wind, you know, and rain, and that's that's gonna be it. Yeah, the damage shouldn't be bad, but it's just gonna be it's just gonna be heavy. It's just gonna be like a lot of wind, definitely. Um, my place is definitely gonna get around like maybe around sixty mile or fifty mile wind gusts or something. I think yeah, around that much. Um. Yeah, that's that's still a lot of wind, but that's still not gonna cause too much damage, I don't think. But yeah, um, and here's the flood potential right here. Look, flash, this a flash flood warning, flooded. Um, you can see um, my place in Charleston, um, ten percent slight, um, so slight chance. Okay, and and the highest amount is 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 at Alabama, you know, and then Georgia, and then parts of South Carolina too. Um, they're at the twenty percent. Um. 20% moderate chance so so yeah they are the moderate chance so they have they have a they have a good chance of you know risk of flash flooding and the potential rainfall right here you can see some a ton of dark green some yellows and and tiny bits of orange right here so it's orange um, indicating 6 to 10 inches of rain yellows indicating 4 to 6 inches of rain and dark green indicating 2 to 4 inches of rain and for my place um uh, so around maybe like two to four inches of rain, somewhere in a dark shaded area. And for the wind speed of probabilities, as you can see, um, so there's, there's gonna be so parts of Alabama, Georgia, South Carolina, and then North Carolina. Uh, gonna see, gonna be seeing, uh, possibly around five, you know, five to ten, like most of the areas, um, five to ten percent. And then some around ten to twenty percent, you know, chance of tropical storm force winds, you know, in the in the in parts of Alabama, Georgia, and South Carolina, and North Carolina. And there's even some light green there, so that's indicating twenty per thirty percent chance of tropical probability of tropical storm force winds. So still need to keep an eye out on the thing. Um, it can still kind of it still could could do some damage. Um, even with fifty sixty mile winds, it could still do some damage, but. I don't think it's gonna be that bad or something. I don't know. And arrival time of winds. Okay, so so for arrival time of winds, it uh, looks like on Saturday it's gonna, the winds gonna reach Alabama on Saturday 2 p.m. and then Georgia around Sunday, Sunday uh at oh, past midnight and then South Carolina um somewhere. Probably in, probably in the evening hours. Somewhere in the evening hours, and then and then and then it looks like the the rest is you know, gonna go out into the sea. Uh, but it's possibly gonna still gonna be causing causing you know, you know wind and you know kind of kind of big waves you know at the at the east at the rest of the east coast, northeast coast. But yeah, I think yeah, it's still gonna probably gonna still you know a little bit impacting the northeast coast.
But yeah, um, well, let's check out like the um, the malls right now. We're gonna check out the the CFS, uh, the CMC Icon model, and then and then the NAM 3K 3KM model. Okay, so as you can see, GFS uh, showing right now Claudette to move northeast and then causing causing a lot of rain to Alabama, Georgia, South Carolina, short, and then North Carolina, and then some parts of rain in the northeast as well. And then I think it's definitely going to cause some big waves there, definitely some big swells there. And then, and then as you can see, there's more systems going on. Look at that. So another system right here. And another system right here. So probably be, it's gonna be the C if they form. So C to the C is probably gonna be um, C and E then form of the season. And it looks like it's gonna be around June twenty, uh, June June twenty eighth. More at that. And then if you if you can move on to July, nothing really else happened. Yeah, nothing really else happened. Let's check out the CMC model. Let's see what they what they think. Okay, so the CMC model right now is showing um nothing really much, you know. Sh you know, Claudia still the same same thing, and this one shows nothing really much, N no other forms. And for the icon model, let's see what icon model shows. Uh, so icon model um. Okay, so basically still showing the same thing. So showing a lot of rain right there. Yeah. Parts of the South Sea Coast. And looks like there's possibly another system right here in, in the crew. So if that forms, that becomes a DNA storm. Looks like it's June 26th when that trip, if that if that happens. And there's some, and of course there's some storms in the in the, in the Pacific there too. You, you can see some storms, you know, forming at the Pacific too. So, you know. Possibly gonna be strengthening, so if that happens. I, I don't know what name's gonna be, it, but it, yeah, that's, I'm pretty sure that name, these, these names, storms probably gonna in the, definitely in the form. I think maybe. And next, we're gonna check out the in AM um, 3KM model. So here it is. Look, look at Claudette right now. It's bringing tons of rain. You can see a lot of reds right here. So pretty crazy. Um, I see a lot of rain right here. Um. And you know nothing really else. You know gonna cause a ton of rain right here. And then, and last one we're gonna check out is the Navigem model. So this one nothing really much. A lot of rain right here. And I forgot about the satellite. Okay. So let's just check out the model right now. Um, the models all say you know it's gonna go back out to sea. You know gonna gonna hit. Looks like. Looks like um, on my stage, it's gonna be hitting, you know, it's gonna be at the closest it's gonna be at, you know, Colombia. It's gonna hit the the Colombia area, the cap the capital city, the capital, you know, see at my stage. Okay, and then a lot of the and look at this model. Okay, um, intensity guidance. A lot of models showing um intensifying once again. Well, well, first decreasing, which is gonna be expected, and then and then climbing back up again. It's not organized at all. You can see a bunch of rain just right there. You can see a lot of rain going at the east side. And okay, we're gonna go a little bit, a little bit. Okay. So okay, now it's now it's more clear. Okay, now you can see um, it's a bunch of you know you know greens and you know, a bunch of greens and yellows. And there's some coming out of my area too. Yeah, you can see there's some. Yeah, there's some of the storms, out of bands that are coming out in there. So, so my, my place is kind of raining right now. Um, and then the last thing we're gonna go to if the if the ocean temperature. So, as you can see at the Gulf of Mexico, 28 degrees water and 29 degree waters. Nothing really much. 
And then, yeah, that's all it. And the waters are, you know, kind of warming back up right now. And yeah, I think I I think they're gonna they're gonna keep warming back up. But you know, at this side, you know, 27, 28 degrees Celsius, and then, and then at the South Carolina, off the South Carolina coast, uh, you know, 28 degrees Celsius water, still still warm. And the Caribbean's 27, 28 degree water. At the Gulf of Mexico, it's still still the warmest waters, um, which I'm not surprised. But I don't know why they have the warmest water at the Gulf of Mexico. I don't know why. But yeah, um, but yeah, guys, um, that's it for the video. Um, um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Let's hope let's get to 710 subscribers by the end of this month. And I'll keep on posting you guys. It has been a while since I posted. And all right, guys, I'll keep on posting. And I'll see you guys next time.